Well, John, you've been out driving around, and I've been driving in North Dakota, and uh, I got to say, what I've seen is bad. It looks really dry. It's dry, and it, yeah. the amazing thing is how wet we were 12 months ago, yeah. probably the wettest we've ever seen yeah. it, to as dry as we've seen it probably in 15 years. Certainly that I've seen since the major drought. So yeah. an incredible transition from super wet last year to dry this year. And you know that, that means it's not gonna be a great year. We're gonna have less settling, ducks have overflown. We've got most, a lot of ducks, you know, already set up territories. We've got mallards nesting for sure. We're gonna have less renesting and lower brood survival. And that's that's not good for duck production. No, it's not. And you know, I will say I you know, we had that snow here a week ago yeah. and we had kind of a wet, drippy day on the back side of it. It was pretty interesting because, you know, the ducks have been sort of in the doldrums here and then yeah. all of a sudden last yeah. Monday night I was driving around and there's courtship flights everywhere and and so you know, we've had years like this where yeah. we've been bad dry to start. Right. We know we're not going to be dealing with the same number of breeders. Right. But if we can get favorable rains here throughout May, we can lurch it, I yep. think, right back in in terms of a duck production effort. Yep. Don't and you I, think? I saw the same thing you saw. You know, that snow, I woke up and saw an inch of snow. And I was so <laughs> excited. Man. It was snowing like a banshee. And three minutes later, it quit. Right. And it was just like the worst tease and that little bit of rain. And what's interesting is the ducks responded to the tease the same way I did. They got right. excited right. to the courtship flights. But we need a heck of a lot of rain. We do. Yeah. You, you know, the interesting yeah. thing was being up in Devil's Lake, they carried over water a little yeah. bit better. Yeah. Um, the number of breeding ducks I saw up there were really good. Yes. Uh, lots of indicated pairs, the mallards and the pintail are clearly at it already. Yeah. Right. Um, and you know, the other thing that I've sort of learned in the last week is Alberta looks quite a bit better than Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and in North Dakota, certainly. So there may be a little hope there. Right. Huh? I got the same report. Manitoba is drier than we've seen in 10 years. But I got a friend in Alberta that says he's seeing more ducks and it's wet in his little corner of Alberta. So that's good. Unfortunately, Saskatchewan, you know, is the whole big river with, with so many wetlands and it's it's very dry. So it's tough. You know, the cool thing is that mentioning that Devil's Lake area where we're doing a bunch of predator uh, uh, management stuff. I, I think it's neat that in a year like this, we've never touted the impact of hen houses and predator management. They really lead to really high nest success early on. Right. And in a year like this, when you don't get re-nesting, it it's huge. Meaningful. Yeah. Predator management and hen houses, so many ducks are in hen houses already. And so they have a fighting chance with low water. So, yeah. yeah and it's gonna cool. be interesting. I mean, I think, um, you know, there's no doubt, there's not a lot of good news. I guess we can be hopeful for May and June, get right. some good rains. Right. We've seen it happen before right. where we've been here I don't know yep. if we've been this dry, but we've yeah. been dry thinking, boy, yeah. it's the end of days, and then we get some nice May, May yeah. rains. But yeah, yeah it's it, the, the, at least as of right now, it doesn't look that yeah. great. We're gonna have to be hopeful for rain. And you pointed out uh, the other day in, a, in an email, and, and I thought it was very insightful that, you know, in years past when we've had, you know, really low water, we've had okay, you know, duck numbers and production. So it's not the end of the world, but it's it's not a bumper year by we, any means. Well, and the other interesting thing is, you know, when we think of drought, we think of the 80s, right? right? Yeah. And that was a long period. You know, we're yeah. coming out of a situation, yeah, Prairie Canada right. was not great last year, but the U.S. Right. prairies were, right. I, you know, we right. don't know what we're gonna do with surveys this year, but I get if we, were, if we do surveys or, we could do surveys. I think we'd find a pretty high breeding population. Yeah, it's just that um, because we've come out of a you know yeah. pretty good year, but yeah, so we're not in the bottom of the bottom. Oh, we're in a, a sort of a like new dry period. Seasonal ponds, you know, all the seasonal ponds anywhere around Bismarck are being farmed this year, and right. that's that's no disaster as long as right. they don't have a drainage ditch. But but we do have semi permanent ponds with water, right. and and in the eighties. We, we didn't, didn't have, we yeah. didn't have so, so it's time. nothing like the eighties, but it's, it's just tough, particularly after such a wet year last right. year. So yeah. we'll, we'll have to wait and see and be, yep. everybody should be praying for rain in yep. May and early June. Right.